just thought I would give a short tour of my vegetable gardens today, show you what's going on in first week of August. So in here we have some sage and leftovers of broccoli rob. There's blue scotch kale and blue lacinato kale. And we have lemon verbena. And this is a broccoli called Santee. I haven't gotten any broccoli off this yet. Let's see, well, we have some flowers up in there. And then I have some English thyme down in here. There is a cabbage called Golden Acre. And this broccoli is called Dechicchio. It's mostly been harvested, although there's, there's some little teeny broccolis. So that probably needs to come out soon. And I have a collard over here called Champion. So probably what I'll do in here is take out the broccoli rod. That's not going to do anything. And the kales will be good for fall and winter. And the Dechicchio broccoli needs to come out. Put something new there. I just planted this. It is a perennial kale. There's some mint in there. I have these beets here. These are called Guard's Mark. And that is that planter bed. Over here we have some red Russian kale. And there are some gold beets down in there. I have a collard called Cascade Glaze. It's starting to bolt. And there are Pointed Sweetheart Kale in here. And there's this ruby red chard. a radicchio called Early Treviso. And then in the back side we have somewhere in here there is Tomatillo. 
And I have some squash. Ooh, that's a giant one. He should have come out way sooner. This one's called Romanesco. And then the one over here that I just picked is Black Beauty. I have an orange currant tomato. And then I have two cucumbers, which I just picked all of them because I thought they were so delicious. A yellow one called Boothsby, and then a white one called Silver Slicer. The silver Slicer starting up again there. And then there is a whole bunch of leeks here that I never replanted. I just put kind of half a flat out there. I think I might still try to plant some of those out and see how they go. Okay, garden plot number three. We have asparagus through the middle here. And there's an orange currant tomato. There is one called Esterina. That's another orange one. And a yellow one called Blonkofkin. Don't see any yellow ones that are ripe. Here they are way back in here. Blonkofkin. Esterina and orange currant, all very small tomatoes. Okay, so the bigger tomatoes we have Arbison, it's a good small slicer that's about as big as it gets and there are some San Marzanos in there and we have Italian heirloom it's a good paste or slicer and Amish paste if you want to make tomato sauce on the inside, we have the hot, wet wax peppers are up front. And there's a little chili pepper. Um, Casabelle, this one is meant to be dried. I have some Mini bell peppers. Wow, that's a lot of them. Um, these are paprika peppers. And these are picnic. Picnic, like a bell pepper. And this one is called tollis. And then if we go farther back in here, there are some celery plants. Several varieties. These two are self-blanching, and then back farther in there I have some I think they're called Ventura. Okay. Garden plot number four. There are some bush beans here. Then I have the Marvel of Venice. It's a yellow, kind of a whitish yellow, long, flat green bean. I really like these. Over here we have A variety of rutabaga called June. 
and Azure Star Kohlrabi. There are some green onions, some brand new carrots starting up in there. And looks like there's more kohlrabi down in there. And then this lettuce. Yeah, it's marked Ventura. Seems to be a good variety for my area. Okay. There are more of these Cascade Glaze collards. It's a newer batch because that was my favorite. There are Komasuna, I think it's called. It's a Japanese green. This is on its way out. Gonna have to take that out soon. And then way too many other early Treviso radicchio. Some sage and calendula flowers. And that's it for today's tour. Those are my four vegetable garden plots.